Hi, this is Naomi with Sword and Steel, and today I am going to break open the Sisters of Battle Triumph of St. Catherine Ball. Yes! And these guys, the Sisters of Battle, sorry, Adeptus Sororitis Dice. Alright. Look at that. So much going on. Ooh. Let's have a look at the assembly guide. Triumph of St. Catherine. And the other pages are just more of the same but in various languages. So, Triumph of St. Catherine. A 6 inch movement. 3 plus weapon skill. 3 plus blessed skill. Strength 3, toughness 3, 18 wounds. Uh, attacks are originally 14, 9 leadership, 3 save, uh, save on the 3 plus. And the Triumph of St. Catherine is a single model equipped with 6 bolt pistols, the Martyr's Sword, Relic Weapons, Frag Grenades, and Crack Grenades. And you can only include one of this model in your army. Uh, the Martyr's Sword does uh, plus 3, so 6 strength, minus 3 AP, 2 damage each. And when the bearer fights, no more than four attacks can be made with this weapon. So you, do, you get 14 attacks, and four of them, but only four for this weapon. So I guess the relic weapons would be where you get 14 attacks. And they are strength five, plus two, so five, minus one uh, AP, and one damage each. So, a nice amount of damage, melee. And then you just got your bolt pistols for, so they want to really go into melee, I guess. So, let's see. I, I know I read it, but I've since, it's been a while since I read it. Uh, Axe of Faith, Sacred Rites, and Shield of Faith. So, the Presidium Protectiva. This model has a 4 plus invulnerable save when resolving an attack made against this model. Subtract 1 from the hit roll, which is quite nice. The Fiery Heart. Morale test taken for friendly Adeptus Sororitas units within 6 inches of this model are automatically passed, which is also quite nice. A Solemn Procession. This model cannot embark aboard a transport. <laughs> well, that does make sense, yes. Uh, Relic of the Matriarchs. This model has a number of relics as detailed in the damage table above. Um, she starts with five relics. Uh, this model can only have one of each relic. When this model suffers damage that reduces its number of relics, select which of the relics and their abilities the model no longer has. If this model regains lost wounds or increases number of relics, select which relics and their abilities this model um, regains. So you're basically picking off ladies. Hmm, it doesn't say anything about losing, you know, the martyr's sword and whatnot. So you're just losing that. So I wouldn't, maybe not pick them off. Uh, so the relics are Sensor of the Sacred Rose. At the start of each turn, gain one Miracle Dice. Nice. Miracle Dice are very important for sisters. A uh, Simulacrum of the Ebon Chalice. At the start of your shooting phase, roll 1d6 for each enemy unit within 6 inches of this model, adding 1 to, to the result if the unit being rolled for is a Psyker, and 1 to the result if the unit being rolled for is a Chaos unit on a 5 plus the unit being rolled for suffers d3 mortal wounds. Petals of the Bloody Rose. Add 1 to hit rolls for attacks made with melee weapons by models in friendly Adeptus Sortis units while their unit is within six inches of this model. Also nice. Uh, once per phase, you can perform one act of faith for a friendly unit within six inches that has the acts of faith ability, even if you have already performed one or more acts of faith in that phase. That is nice. Yep. Uh, simulacrum of the Argent Shroud. When you perform an act of faith for a friendly unit whilst it was in six inches of this model, you can increase or decrease the value of miracle dice used by one before you use it to a maximum of six and a minimum of one. This is not cumulative with any other abilities that can increase or decrease the value of miracle dice. Example, the Dialogus is stirring rhetoric ability. So this is a pretty awesome model. Oh, um, it is 
Imperium, Adeptus Ministorum, Adeptus Oratus, Character Infantry, Triumph of St. Catherine. So as you always expect, it doesn't have a keyword towards any of the particular you know, Sacred Rose, Evan Chalice, Bloody Rose, that sort of thing. You can uh, choose it for any sister's army. Let's get this assembled. So what I'm building right now is actually the tomb of St. Catherine, where her skills and remains kept by the sisters and protected by the six sisters around her that represent each of the six matriarchs of the Adeptus Auritus. Assembly aside says to attach this piece to the tomb where she's resting first, but I found that it was much more straightforward if I um, create the ring, the outer part, first, and then while that was gluing, I put in the center piece like I'm doing right there. Found that was the best way to do it and then carried on as normal. This sister represents the spirit of St. Catherine with her martyred sword and shield and uh, when I was cutting it um, for the hand that holds the shield up it would be very easy to accidentally cut off the handle on the shield because it is so small and it is where the sprue meets the hand. So be careful, I nearly cut off too much. I didn't but I nearly did, so I'm giving this warning to all builders, careful not to cut off the handle um, when you're trying to cut it away from the sprue. It doesn't happen often in this particular model, and in most cases it's very clear where the sprue meets the piece. But there are a couple ones, a foot here, a hand there, that you just want to be careful that you're not cutting what isn't supposed to be cut. So this piece is a funeral procession where the bones of the Saint Catherine matriarch are lid down in the center and her heart above the skeleton still beating um, even through the millennia, they say, untouched by the ravages of time. And surrounding her are six sisters that were so well thought of 
by the Adeptus Sororitas leaders that they are now representing the six matriarchs of Adeptus Sororitas and wielding their holy relics. Whenever there's a miniature uh, whose two pieces don't fit quite well enough together to my liking um, and you can't really cut the two pieces to fit that well without ruining the overall uh, miniature, I like to use a plastic putty, um, either, well, plastic putty from Vallejo seems to work really nicely for this. If you see a small hole, all you have to do is grab a little bit of putty and smooth it in, either with a brush or with your finger, which I did in this case, and it will fill the hole nice and easy, as if it had never been there before once you put uh, paint on top of it. I'll, I only needed to do this a couple times um, for this Triumph of the St. Catherine, but um, it was really handy in those times that I had to do it. As I said, the sisters on this model make up the six matriarchs of Adeptus Sororitas. So that would be Saint Catherine using the Martyr Sword and the Presidium Protectiva, the shield. And one of the other sisters is Saint Dominica holding the Simulacrum of the Evangelis. That's the goblet that you see in this piece. The next one is Saint Silvana, bearing the Simulacrum of the Arden Shroud, that's the one in the back. Uh, she's the one with the tome and the banner on her backpack. Cut from the same cloth as that was laid over the matriarch's body. Uh, the spirit of Saint Nina is the one carrying a big bowl of crimson roses. Uh, who is uh, scattering them about, representing the gore spilt by the Red Saint before she was martyred. Then we have the Saint Arabella, swinging the censer of the Sacred Rose. And lastly, the Saint Lucia, holding the icon of the Valorous Heart. It says it beats ever louder as the fires of war grow around it.
Saint Dominica has prayer beads falling from her left hand and they do not necessarily match up and they're very very small so what I would suggest is matching up one of them probably the shorter strand and um, allowing that to glue with her hand connected to her wrist allow that to glue solid and then just bend the other beads just slightly and uh, let them glue after the first part is completely dry. You'll see when you get there, the prayer beads won't necessarily match up, but you can fix it one prayer bead strand at a time. This is quite a significant piece to the lore. When I paint it, I'm planning to uh, paint each of the different sisters in the colors of their specific order. I think I will highlight the bones of St. Catherine herself, as well as highlight the one in front who is currently the spirit of St. Catherine. And everyone else will be more in shadow with a highlight here or there, trying to bring some unity to the piece and really build on what's a, how much of a important piece it is for the sisters. And here she is. Now, I have not glued any of the sisters on yet because I really need to paint them separately to do them justice, I think. But this is what it will look like once complete. I am very excited to get this painted up and on the battlefield. As you see, they're just attached just like that. There is so much detail that I know this piece is going to take me some time to finish. I am very happy with how it looks. Oh my goodness, there is so much detail. And I'd really like to emphasize each important piece through paint. That's going to take time and some coordination on my part, I think. <laughs> Let's just break these guys open for fun. You get 20 dice. 
Mm. Ooh, they're kind of swirly in the center. Mm. Heading on for Boom, you got three. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. If you can tell what it is, it's uh, me. All right. I'm very excited to field that lady, or those ladies. I think that the kit itself is, is very well done. Everything looks pretty. I mean, we do have the sherubs, which as I'm sure some of you are aware, I'm creeped up by the cherubs, but um, overall it is a very pretty, very pretty model. So the model looks good and of course is functionally good. I am very happy with it and all of the pieces were quite, quite well done. Uh, the dice, there are 20 dice, that should be good enough number for a sisters. They aren't hoard like Tiern is, so 20 dice seems like a good number to me. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to see more unboxing of other wargaming material as well as playing with them, painting them, and all that jazz. And uh, I'll catch you later. Bye!